talk about something. Yeah, I want to talk to you about training me. Training me. <laughs> You know, the gentleman that owned this place, that was a man. How you doing, man? Who the hell is that? Oh. Hmm. Avon lady. What's that? Rocky! Listen, we got a winner. We got a chance. Now he goes to the party like nobody. You can't be hoist. Follow your candy hood, because you are too tough. I got all this knowledge. I got it up here now. I want to give it to you. I want to give you this knowledge. I want to take care of you. I want to make sure that all this shit that happened to me doesn't happen to you. Holy it, Rock! You drive me crazy. You're sloppy because you're off balance. That's it, you see. That's ugly. That's a snob. Slip to jail. Stepper stuff. It ain't your locker no more. What are you talking about? It ain't my locker. It's been my locker for six years. Where's my gear? Mickey told me to bag it, hang it. Where is it? He's outside working with Depper. He's in a bad mood. So oh, am I. The hell, what do you want? How are you feeling today? What? I said, how you feeling? What are you, a doctor or something? What, you got problems today? Never mind my problem. What's your problem? My problem is I've been talking to your man, Mike. I want to know how come I've been put out of my lot. Because Dipper needed it. Dipper's a contender. He's a climber. Do you know what you are? What? A tomato. Me? Yeah, let's face it. I run a business here and had a goddamn soup kitchen. Did you fight last night? Yeah. Did you win? Yeah, I won K on a sec. Yeah, who'd you fight? Spider Rico. <laughs> He's a bum. You think everybody I fight is a bum? Well, ain't they? You got heart, but you fight like a goddamn ape. This is what I'm looking for. Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. A snow white underdog, and I'm gonna put his face on this poster with me. Yeah, there was some guy here from Miles Jurgens looking for you. They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. Put me on. There's a car. What was it here? About an hour ago. They'll probably look for spawn bodies for Creed, you know? I said that before, you dumb Jago! You'd be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? Well, Rocky, how do you expect to fight Apollo Creed? Uh, well, geez, you know, Creed's the best. Uh, I guess I'll have to do the best I can. When I come to tell you that, uh, that what happened to you is freak luck. Yeah, freak luck. Isn't it true? true? Look, yeah. look at the other guys. Now, they're good fighters, right? They're colorful. They got good records. They fight their guts out for peanuts. But you, you get a shot at the title. Yeah, freak luck is a strange yeah. thing. Yeah. Ah, Rocky Marciano. You know, you kind of remind me of the rock. Do you know that? I really think so. That's right. You move like him, you And you got heart like he did. Yeah, I got heart, but I ain't got no locker, do I, Mick? Listen to me. I want to be your manager. You follow that, do you? The fight said I don't need no manager. But you can't buy what I'm going to give you. I mean, I've got pain and I've got experience. No, I got pain, I got experience, too. Now, listen, kid. Hey, look, hey, Mick. Look, I need your help about 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago? Right. You never helped me, no. You didn't care. Well, if you want to... You know, to... I've been coming in for six years. In six years, you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You don't want to know. Yeah, I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how... Okay, I'm going to tell you. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker to some cheap second-rate loan shark. To living? It's a waste of life! I say, if you wanted help, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you just ask me, kid? Look, I asked, but you never heard nothing. Well, I... I, uh... I, I'm 
76 years old. I ain't never had good footwork. Never mind footwork. Now you're all balanced out Marciana. Had the same problem. And this string cured it. It's the idea that if you can move and you can hit without breaking the string, you got balance. You become a very dangerous place. You'll be ready, won't you? Why? Because I waited for 50 years to make you ready. You'll be able to spit nails, kid. Like the guy says, you're gonna eat lightning and you're going to crap thunder. You're going to become a very dangerous place. You drag him up against the rope. He's too fast. No, he's too fast. Leading him back over to his corner. Rocky can hardly find his way. He's never come up. He's sitting down now. Your nose is broke. How's it look? That's an improvement. Too bad as Mickey's. It ain't that horrible. Go for the ribs. Don't let that bastard breathe. The guy's crazy. Hard left and the right combination. What is keeping him up, Bill? I don't have to protect him. Right in. He's the fence this time, Bill. I can't see nothing. Gotta open my eye. Cut me, Mick. You don't want to do it. Well, cut me. Cut me. Okay, try it. Cut it. You stop this fight, I'll kill you. Uh, Back in bed. I'll stop it. I'm going. You want to go? I don't care what the hell them judges said. This is the man I want to fight. I'm going to show you how lucky you are. You're going to fight me again, Chuck. Come back here. Don't run out on me. Now listen, every pug thinks he has one good one left. Now forget it, because your fighting career is over, kid. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. You know, I spent my whole life getting a career. I get one, and you tell me it's over. Well, maybe we can do better this time. Well, worse. What about that? Hey, yo, Mick. I done you a favor last time, you know? Can you do me one this time? <laughs> I don't know. You don't, you don't understand me. You look uh, right there at the end of my nose, will okay. you? Okay. I want to test you. Look at your nose. You look at my nose now. When I bring my finger in, you tell me when you see it, okay. will you? There's a little thing I see. It. That's good. <laughs> I told you it's okay. Now, wait. Now, we try the other lamp. I see it. Now you see nothing. Creed would have caved in the whole side of your face. Now forget it, kid. You got the heart, but you ain't got the tools no more. Now forget it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe it's you who ain't got it no more, you know that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's it. Now look. You didn't even see that coming, did you? No. Well, that was from a broken down pug like me. What do, you, what do you think the champ will do to you? Now I'm ready to have a rematch to prove that this lucky club fighter, and that's what he was, lucky, does not have the skill to last five minutes in the ring with a superior athlete like me. The man's running, the man's hiding, the man doesn't want to face me. This would be a legitimate rematch. The boxer against the puncher, and I think everyone wants to see them back in the ring together. But there's only one problem. Where is Rocky Balboa? I'm Brad Musburger. Lousy bum! I think we ought to knock his block off. Absolutely. To pull this miracle off, you gotta change everything. You gotta learn to be a right-handed fighter. Now, this will confuse Apollo, and it'll protect that bad eye. Well, what do I gotta chase a chicken for? It's embarrassing, you know? First, because I said so. And second, because chicken chasing is how we always used to train in the old days. Yeah. You catch this thing, you can catch grease lightning. Ready? Yeah, well, I'd rather eat it than chase it. It ain't very mature, listen, but I'll, if you say Well, so. neither are you very mature. Now listen, get this thing. No, a fighter ain't a farmer. Come on, Eddie. Can't you catch it. your little chicken? <laughs> huh? Come on. Move your tail. Move your tail. You look like a girl out there. What's with this domestic stuff? Tell the business, will you? Jab that till it hoists 500 times without stopping, you hear me? 
500 times. Hey, Mick, I want to use my other arm. If you do, I'm going to chop it off. Is that clear? I'll figure so. Yeah, I wish you would, Paul. I appreciate it, you know. I'm sorry. Are you finished? Yeah. Can we go to work? That would be nice. Now hit that bag. Hit it. Jab it. Tell it all. It's go ahead. Three. Yeah. Four. I want 500 high ones. Go. What was I? Seven or eight? Time. What's the matter? That bag too fast for you? Last time we should have won. But this time, you're going to be scary, kid. You're going to be a greasy, fast Italian monster. Let's take a break, Nick, right? Okay? Break? What break? Where, where are you going? We're not finished. Hey, I said, where the hell are you going? I'm talking to myself or something. Let me tell you something, kid. Now, for a 45-minute fight, you gotta train hard for 45,000 minutes. 45,000. That's 10 weeks, that's 10 hours a day, you listen? And you ain't even trained one. I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. What are you waiting for? What? I don't know. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Because you're training like a damn bum, you know that? Bum? A bum! Maybe you're right. Maybe I ain't got it no more. Then don't you waste my time no more. You hear that? Go away. Go back to the docks where you belong. You go back to being a two-bit nothing. But don't you ever come back here again because I'm too old to waste my time trying to train a no-good loser like you, you bum! Hey, hey, Rock, they want you across the street. What's the matter? Your wife's sick. You know that I, uh, I went up to your house, Dad. They told me you was here. It's at 3 a.m., kid. Is that, uh, Adrian? She's a good girl. Me. You know, I'm sorry for both of you. Hmm? Well, there's nothing I can do with it. I accept it. But Rocky got a, a, another shot. This is a second shot. And for God's sake, why don't you stand up and fight this guy hard like you've done before? That was beautiful. Don't lay down in front of him like this. Like a, I don't know, like a, some kind of mongrel or something. Because he's going to kick your face in pieces. You know that? That's right. This guy just don't want to win, you know. He wants to bury you. He wants to humiliate you. He wants to prove to the whole world that it was nothing but some kind of a, a freak the first time out. That he said you are one time lucky bum. Come November, you mind. He's very upset. Oh, well. I don't... I don't want to get mad in a biblical place like this. And I get nervous every time he does that. But, uh, now, wait a minute. If you want to blow it... If you want to blow this thing, uh, damn it, I'm going to blow it, would you? What are we waiting for? Don't go back to fighting Southpaw till I tell you that you get him, see? Okay. Fast! Fast! Go after him, kid! Go after him! Yeah. Oh, he's great. No, no, listen, he's only a man. You can beat him because you're a tank. You're a greasy, fast, 200 pound Italian tank. Go through him, run over him. Alright, alright, go ahead and push it. Alright, we got a plan, you got a switch kit. He's ready, believe me. Come on, Thank you for checking me. I won't stop,
tell my boy, come here, bro. Nobody can beat me. You tell him what I say. Are you next? I'm gonna kill him. I don't care what you rank. You don't get no shot, and I mean that. I'm glad you people are seeing this here. What are you doing? Because I want to fight this guy. Well, you got him. You'll fight him without me. Please don't What are you saying? I said, why are you doing this? Because you can't win, Rock. This guy will kill you to death inside of three rounds. You're crazy. What else is new? He's just another fighter. No, he ain't just another fighter. This guy is a wrecking machine, and he's hungry. Hell, you ain't been hungry since you won that belt. Oh, what are you talking about? I've had ten title defenses. That was easy. What do you mean, easy? They was handpicked. Setups? Yeah, they were setups. They was good fighters, but they wasn't killers like this guy. He'll knock you into tomorrow, Rock. I mean, why couldn't Mickey tell me where I was really at right from the start? He didn't have to carry me and lie to me and make me think Never I was... lied. Get him out of there, can't you? Get him out of there! I can't go out there and fight like this. I can't. I can't go out there like this. Now get out of there. Get going, will you? Take him. Take him good. Get it over with, why don't you? AJ, what am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean? What are you supposed to do? After all these years together, you don't know what to do. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Now get out there and do it. Do it. He's supposed to... He's okay. I need him now. I need him now. She knocked out. We did it. We did it. You don't have to worry about nothing no more. No, I love you, kid. I love you. Hey. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying here? I understand, but you've got to understand that he loved you, and that was his job, protecting you. Why'd you do it? Because the beating that you got from Apollo should have killed you, kid. It didn't. It was my job to keep you winning and to keep you healthy. I know your manager dying had you all messed up. But the truth is, you didn't look Paula thinks you can do it. So do I. But you, you gotta want to do it for the right reasons. Not for the guilt over Mickey. Not for the people. Not for the title. Not for money or me. But for you. This is the favorite thing that I have on this earth. And Rocky Marciano, give me that. You know what it was? His cufflink. Huh? And now I'm giving it to you. And it, it's got to be like a, like an angel on your shoulder, the, And if you ever get hurt and you feel that you're going down, this little angel is going to whisper in your ear. He's going to say, get up, you son of a bitch. Because Mickey loves you. He's no machine. He's not a machine. He's a man. Be more man than him. Get him. I have the time. I have the time. All those fighters you beat, you beat him with heart, not muscle. That's what Mickey knew. That's why you and Mickey were special. You ever fight a dinosaur, kid? No, not late. They can no. cause a variety of damage. We gotta get some speed. We gotta get some quickness. We need greasy, fast speed. <laughs> Shut 
stuff back there, can't you? Change your tune. Slip the jab. Slip the jab. That's right. That's it. Hey, I didn't hear no bell. Okay. Special about you, you never got your nose busted. Well, leave it that way. Nice and pretty. What's left of your mind? Because I've been in this racket for 50 years. 50 years? 50 huh? years. God, I've seen it all. All of it. Left-handed fighters, they're the worst, you know. They lead with their face mostly. Trying to throw that big left. Right's no damn good. They ought to outlaw southpaws. Now, why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. You have to wear that stinking sweatshirt. Well, it brings me luck, you know. You know what it brings? It brings flies. No good! Hey, on, you break your head! Where you in? You lost your brain or something? We gotta fight you! How much do you think he eats? About 202 pounds. Weighing 202 pounds, the reigning heavyweight champion of the world. Little by little, we lose our friends, we lose everything, we keep losing and losing till we say, you know, oh, what the hell am I living around here for? I got no reason to go on. But with you, kid, boy, I got a reason to go on. I'm ready. And I'm going to stay alive. So if I fight, you fight. And I will watch you make good. And I'll never leave you. And I'll never leave you until that happens. Because when I leave you, you'll not only know how to fight, you'll be able to take care of yourself outside the ring, too. Is that OK? It's OK. Hi. OK. Chick is slowing down. Hey, listen, kid. I, I don't like to hear much of what comes out of people's mouths. And I don't like. Soft talking hawks. <laughs> That's for sure. You know, but I just want to tell you one thing that I'm proud of you. All right. I love you too. Go after him, kid. Go ahead. Good luck. Thank you. Very much. Well, thanks, Rick. <laughs> I gotta go back to the gym. I got a couple of good prospects. Yeah, they're really good? Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, see you around, Mick. Thanks for coming. Go drink now. Good hey, Excuse me, can I borrow the bridegroom?